What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? It's your buddy Big John and G from Two Gun Pixel presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am back. I am super back. <laughs> yes, I am super back. Now, you know I've talked about superhero games before in the past. There's not enough of them. And I still stick with that, even though... Got one coming tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on the mail. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I am here to talk about one of my favorite games, always in the number one and number two spot for all time favorite games. I love Sentinels in the Multiverse. I enjoy Sentinel Tactics. Wish they had continued this, I wish they had refined it a little more. I uh, actually use the box, the expansion box for all the painted miniatures from the base game and the expansion. I I love Sentinels. I backed uh, uh, I backed Sentinels of Earth Prime because it mixes with my favorite with my favorite superhero role playing game, Mutants and Masterminds. I really love Sentinels, which is why when I had a chance <laughs> to check this out, I knew I wanted to jump all over it. So this is a First time unboxing here on 2GP, and unboxing, you might want to say, because there's, there's no box. <laughs> but still, we're going to check this out. Let's go down to the table. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. The Sentinel Comics, the role-playing games. The starter kit is finally here with me at 2GP. So in this game, uh, we're going to open this up and check it out. Now, this is just a starter kit to the game. The full RPG has not yet been released. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm already looking forward to that, and I haven't even, I haven't even broken open the starter kit. And like I said, that's just because I, I love this, this this card game system so much. I enjoy the tactical miniature game. I, I love the the app for the card game. It is it, it's just it really just captures me. Uh, so let's let's check this starter out and not cut myself wide open here. That would be a good place to st oh, okay. This is a good place to start right there. Okay. So in the starter kit, it has each of the members of the Freedom Five, along with along with Unity. One, two, three, four, five, along with Unity, and a bunch of scenarios apparently. So let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And this. <laughs> This becomes your your game master screen for the starter game with all the information that you need. Now, being a starter game, this is not covering every single rule that's going to be in the full game. This covers enough rules for you to to understand the basics of the game, uh, to play the game, and see how apparently awesomely cool it is. Nice little bookmark coming soon to Kickstarter. All right. If I like this, I might end up backing it. And I, I think that's part of their part of their goal also. So the gameplay guide. Your adventure begins here. I like the artwork. I know not everyone has always been a fan of the style of art. I've definitely enjoyed it. Now, to be quite honest, uh, no matter how much I love the card game, this is all based on the the rules in the card game and in the Sentinel Tactics miniature game, the rule books aren't really designed the best. They're not the best edited, not the best written. You can get through it. You can figure everything out because these games aren't overly complicated. But I'm hoping that I'm hoping this rule book is going to be it's going to be a little bit better. So here go the characters. So each player is going to get a character comic. So thematically, how can you how can you top that for a role playing game about superheroes? Is that your character sheet is a little mini comic book with all the information that you're going to need and you're going to be able to track. 
And some uh, little bullet points, bullet points that you're going to need to know and remember. Dice usage. So that's it, huh? Okay. So we got absolute zero. Oh, and then of course you have the the history, the write up. Now this, by the way, this role playing game takes place chronologically speaking. It takes place after the final and last expansion for the card game Oblivion, which should be shipping in about a month. I, I believe right now it's at this midpoint in late April. It's, it's on the ship, uh, making its way to here America, which will be it'll be docking at some point next month. You got Bunker, kind of like the Iron Man of the team, with a war machine. So yeah, this game takes place chronologically after the events of Oblivion. So obviously they survived. <laughs> he goes the, the Superman, Captain America type legacy. Super strong, can take a hit. It's also very good at rallying the troops. D&D &D terms, uh, I don't know, a fighter with some bard in him, maybe. Tachyon. The speedster. Also the, the super scientist on the team. I've played all these characters in the in the app, the phone app for the card game. The actual physical card game, I have not played all these characters. Um, I've played Legacy. I've played Unity. I've played Wraith. Those are the only ones in the card game that are available here that I actually played. So Unity's kind of cool. Unity's a... Uh, is a techno path, a techno kineticist kind of combination. She can create these robots, like, like Mr. Chomps. She also has little robots that that are kind of like robot duplicates of the team members. Right. And then Wraith, the Batman esque character this is cool I do like this whole mini comic book idea for the character sheet so then here which I, I will not I will not be going through because I don't want to give anything away here we have issue number one of the freedom five Game moderator only. Itsy Bitsy Spider Bots. That's the name of this one. Issue number one. Itsy Bitsy Spider Bots. Looks like it's dealing with Omnitron. Issue number two. Void if Broken. <laughs> right, cool. And of course, obviously, the whole concept that modules are written as comic books is extremely awesome. They 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 had the same approach with the tactical miniature games uh, that they came out with, with with their Sentinel Tactics. They did the same thing. Where's where the undead lie? And if you notice, they also have all their own little titles. Like this this issue happens. In the Sentinel Comics line of Tomb of the Bazaar, uh, this one was in the issue of the Prime Wardens, and this one was the issue of the first two were the issue of the Freedom Five. Oh, look what I didn't notice! Look what I didn't notice. So this is a okay. So issue one and issue two say issue one and issue two on them, and I almost missed this because these next ones. So I guess this is a three-parter, three, four, and five, right? Justice Comics. Rage Unending. Kaboom. That's cool. And story number six ends in the Freedom Five. 
the robot master revealed. So offhand, it looks like there's a campaign through these. And if not, at least through these one, two, and three, issues three, four, and five, look like they're at least a mini campaign. So that's what it that's what it comes with. Now remember there's a role playing game, not a tabletop board game, so there is no actual board. But I do know that I, uh, if need be, I will break out the miniatures from Sentinel Tactics and Uprising if I need, and I'll break them out for the game. And that's it. That's everything we got right there. The six modules. One, two, three, four, five, six characters. Right there, 12 booklets. Right, and there are 12 booklets, plus the rule book, bookmark, and this, and it all comes packed in, doubles as your Game Master screen. Until the full board game comes out, they really want to go old school style, it would be nice to see them put it in a box. You know, like the old TSR games and uh, Fantasy Game Unlimited used to do. All right, so that was your unboxing <laughs> of Sentinel Comics, the role-playing game starter kit. And I am really looking forward to running these characters and playing this and finally getting a chance to take the Sentinels of the Multiverse characters and bring them to life. Literally in a role-playing game. Ah, yeah. Can't wait for that, boy. All right. I'm your buddy, Big John. And G. I want to say thank you, everyone, for subscribing to us here on YouTube. Thank you for following us on Twitter. Thank you for liking us on Facebook. Thank you for sharing. And don't forget that as soon as we hit 975 subscribers, which right now we're about 15 away, we're going to announce the big, big, big board game giveaway. Yeah. So my friends, I'm your buddy Big Johnny G, and I am...